Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Noah Megatron Queen Size Metal Bed Frame. In the box, you'll receive an instruction sheet, 9 cylinder feet, 9 plastic washers, the left A rail, the right B rail, 2 C bars, 2 D bars, 1 E and 1 F bar. The tricky part about setting up this frame is that there are no words on the instructions, just drawings, and none of the parts have actual labels on them, so you'll have to match them to the images. However, there are no other tools or hardware needed for setup, so let's put this thing together. We're going to be assembling the frame upside down, and then flipping it over at the end. First, take the A-rail and unfold it. The holes should be facing up for assembly, since this is the bottom. As the bed frame is upside down, place the A-rail to the right hand side, and the B-rail on the left, and arrange them so that the brackets in the corners are facing in towards each other. Next, take one of the D-bars and place it over the hole on the A-rail just below the corner brace. Do the same at the foot of the frame. On the opposite side, place the C bar over the hole on the B rail. Do the same at the foot of the bed. Now seat the bracket from the C bar over the end of the D bar at the head of the bed. Do the same at the foot of the frame. Next, take the F bar and slide it into the notch at the middle of the A rail, with the hole facing up. Now take the E bar and slide it into the notch in the middle of the B rail. And in the middle, place the bracket from the E bar over the end of the F bar. Now all that's left to do is attach the 9 feet to each of the screw holes. Make sure to place one of the plastic washers over the screw on each foot, before tightening it to the frame. A foot will be installed at the ends of each bar and in the middle where they meet. Once all the feet are tightened into place, you can flip the bed frame over. It's actually not that heavy once it's put together. Make sure all the bars meet in the middle. There should be no gap. You can loosen and slide to adjust the center feet to do this. Now you can go ahead and place your box spring on the frame. It should sit snugly against the inside of the brackets on both sides, which hold it in place. The height from the floor to the bottom of the box spring is 7 inches, and the fully assembled dimensions are 76 inches by 60 inches. The bed frame is sturdy, fitting the box spring and supporting a queen mattress nicely. The frame does not slide, squeak, creak, or shift, even when jumping on the bed. Overall, it's a pretty simple, easy to assemble, durable, steel construction frame that'll stay firmly in place while supporting the bed and its occupants. In total, it took me about 15 minutes to put it together by myself. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.